Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. For today's video, we're gonna be playing with some new Fallout Commanders. Let's go ahead and see what's up in the Wasteland. Hey, how's it going? It's Jason. Today I'm gonna to be playing Sean, Father of Synths. Looking to overwhelm my opponents with a bunch of legendary creatures. Hey guys, it's Corbin. Uh, today, because I did not get enough Doctor Who, I am playing the Master Transcendent. Uh, it's a proliferate deck, and it's probably a storm deck, because that's why y'all clicked on this video. Hey everyone, with a little strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, Hopefully I'll get there today. General, another settlement needs your help. I'll mark it on your map for you. Howdy guys, it's Nate. Today I'm playing Preston Garvey, Minuteman. And the plan is to make more settlements that you, General, need to protect to rebuild the strength of the Minutemen. Okay everyone, thanks for coming. What do you say we roll some dice? I got a seven. I Ten. Eleven. Gross. I'm gonna take my free mulligan. Full policy. Keep. I'm gonna keep my first seven. Yeah, okay, I'll waste time. That's fine. Draw, jet mirror garden tapped, pass turn. Okay, I'm gonna draw, play mountain, and pass. I will also draw a scalding time, and then I'll pass. Island, since it's divining time. I have a response, since you're all on that. Mystical tutor. Corbin just wanted to add the first spell to resolve the game. I did, and we're gonna put thirsting roots on top of my library. Untap, upkeep, draw, planes, a ring, have a colorless floating for a three visits. We will grab a stomping ground, out. Use a green to wild growth onto the jet mirror garden. When enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional green. Have nothing to do with that colorless, go ahead. I'm gonna play a mountain. I'll pay two for an arcane signet and I will pay one blue to ponder and pass. I'll cast this Thirsting Roots and go get a Swamp and then pass my turn after I play the Swamp. Where is the Swamp? In your hand. No. no. <laughs> I didn't think about it though for a second. Anyway, I'm playing the Swamp and then I'm gonna Thought Seize Brand. I'm just kidding. Go. <laughs> just go. Untap, upkeep. I'm gonna look at the top three. Drop turn, Water Foothills for turn, and I will pass the turn. Upkeep, drop, play Command Tower, or five, we will cast Preston Garvey, Minuteman. So beginning of combat, I will make an aura enchantment named Settlement and enchant a land I control. Enchanted land has tap for any color. When he attacks, I untap each enchanted permanent I control. And we are gonna go settle on the plains. Like a good American should. I will pass. I'm gonna play an island for turn. I'm gonna pay three mana for Jory and Ruin Diver. They're a 2-3 legendary creature, Morfolk Wizard. Whenever I cast my second spell each turn, I draw a card. And then I'm gonna pay one red, put Sticky Fingers onto Jory N. Gives it Menace, and whenever I hit someone, I get a treasure token. I also trigger Jory N to draw a card. I'm all done. Blue and a black. I will play a Pintad Prism. Sunburst, I enter the battlefield with a number of charge counters for each different color mana I used on it, which is two. I can remove a charge counter from it to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. I'll pass. End step, I will fetch. I'm gonna grab Sacred Foundry, I'm gonna shock it in, and then I will spin top at end step. I'll play an island, and then we will play this Foundry Inspector for turn, and we will pass the turn. My artifact spells not cost me one less to cast. Untap, upkeep. Throw, play a mountain for turn, go to combat, and settle on the mountains. Jason, swing four at you. Okay. I'll untap all of my enchanted permanents. Nice. Go ahead. Well done. I'll play a training center for turn. Let's go ahead and play my commander, Sean, Father of Sense. So whenever I attack, he can make a copy of a legendary creature I control, except it becomes not legendary and is a synth in addition to its other types. I will attack with Jorian. We'll return the favor at Nate. Uh, when it swings, I will make a copy. This one will go at Corbin. Sure. I will make a treasure because of sticky fingers. Use this for red or Vandal Blast. We'll just put Nate back a little. Hit the soul ring, uh, trigger both the Jorians. I will draw two cards and pass my turn. Play an arcane signal. This is why you should play more lands. I'll pass. 
I'm a little sad that he blew up Soul Ring as well as cracked his treasure because oh. I'm on the dark side. Oh. <laughs> Two for me. Two Three. for me. Three for me. Uh, I, do, I actually do have a response. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna remove a charge counter to make a blue. I will play Ripples of Potential. Uh, I will proliferate and then I will phase out a permanent that had a counter put on it this way. So, so I get six. Yeah, okay. six, correct. What a play. Totally a necessary play. I'm gonna play a Smothering Tithe. Sure. And then we will pass the turn. Onto upkey. Draw. Smothering Tithe trigger. Won't bring for it. Play land for turn, being this Kessig Wolf Run. Go to combat. I'm gonna settle on my Kessig Wolf Run. Preston swings. Trigger goes on the stack. Yeah. Swinging at Jason. We'll float three. We'll do a red, a green, and one. So trigger resolves, one tap, six. So we'll buff him by four with Kessig Wolfren. So eight? Yeah. Oh, so okay. that's 12, so you're commander. At 12 commander. Uh, uh, all right, untap, draw. I'm gonna play an island. It's not like a trigger. I'll pay it. Uh, go to combat. Four coming at an eight. And then on swing, I will make another jury in. So it's gonna be six. When the one connects, I will make a treasure token. Then I'm gonna pay two blue for phantasmal image, yeah. choosing yeah. Darkside Extortion. Well, we have abilities to respond before it enters the battlefield. I'm passing priority though. That's yes, priority. I'm gonna pay one. I'm gonna swords the Darkside Extortionist. I'm gonna swan song that. Okay. Get a bird. Second spell per turn, draw. I'll draw three cards. Are you Thanks. gonna pay for any of those? <laughs> so I will pay for one. So you get two of those. And then how many treasures am I getting from Darkseid? Four for me. I have one. Uh, in response, I'll crack one. Seven for me. I will have 12 mana. And before it goes away, I'm just gonna use that one to spin top. Gimli of the Glittering Caves. He's a 1 1 double strike. Whenever another legendary creature enters the battlefield under my control, he gets a plus one plus one counter. Uh, whenever he deals damage to someone, I get a treasure. I will pass. I'm not paying for any of that. I have no mana. I'm gonna play Infectious Inquiry. I will draw two cards and lose two life, and then everybody gets a poison counter. I'm not paying for any of that smothering tide yep. crap. A land for turn is gonna be this Woodland Cemetery. Pass the turn. Or, or a mirror works. Whenever another non-token artifact enters the battlefield my control, I may pay two. If I do, create a token that's a copy of that artifact. Or, Gilded Lotus. Trigger on ETB, float three, using two of it, having one left to make a copy. Yep. I will use that remaining one to spin top. Activate this Gilded Lotus to cast Fabricate. Search my library for an artifact to reveal it, put it in my hand. Seems nifty. We're gonna grab Intelligence Bobblehead, and then I will pass the turn. And your turn. I'm gonna pay four blue for Vincer, Shaper Savant. Uh, he can return a spell or permanent to opponent's hand. We'll do Smothering Tide to your hand. I thought you were gonna try to stop the beat face on your face, but all right. Probably has other stuff for that. Yeah, I'm gonna use one blue to Pongify across the Harvey. I'm gonna draw three cards from the uh, Jory end triggers. Gimli will get a counter because I cast a legendary creature. I'll be done after that. If you appreciate the content we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up over on our Patreon page. Some of the Patreon benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, or commenting down below all help as well, and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. Draw. Play land for turn, being a rogue's passage. Six. It's an austere command. We will do all creatures with mana value three or less, and all creatures with mana value four or greater. I have no responses. I will draw a card from Sticky Fingers when Jorian dies. I will pass. I will play an island for turn. Three mana for a Birgi, God of Storytelling. Whenever I cast a spell, I get a red mana. I'm gonna pay two mana for a Mind Stone. I'll get one red mana from Birgi. Should have read this guy first. <laughs> Gloin, Dwarf Emissary. Whenever you cast a historic spell, create a treasure token. <laughs> it only triggers once each turn. I'll pass. End of your turn, I'm gonna cast Brainstorm. I'm gonna untap. Uh, I'm gonna play a land for turn, Burden Catacombs. I'm gonna pay one life and activate this Burden Catacombs. Water Grave. Three. Uh, I'll play Tezzeret's Gambit 
I will draw two cards and then proliferate. So I will proliferate all them poison counters, and then I'll put a thing on Pintap Prism, and I will draw two cards. All right, I'll pass. Your land for turn will be Ottawara. We will tap one Gilded Lotus for us to Healy. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one Servo. Tap these other Gildeds. Four Intelligence Bobblehead. Taps for any one color, make tap X, draw X cards where X is the amount of bobbleheads you control. Cast trigger to make a servo, one at ATBs, pay two. Re-put the smothering types back out there, making another servo, passing turn. Draw, or pay two. Seven, recast, rest in Garvey. Go to combat, turn Rogue's Passage into a settlement. And I will pass the turn, because I don't have haste. Okay, I'm gonna untap. See if I could do anything to deal with Brent. I don't think I can. I will pay for Smothering Tithe. Pay one, two, three, four, five, six. And a treasure for my commander. When he comes into play, it will trigger Gloin, so I'll get the treasure back. I get one red mana from Birgi, which does not go away as I go through phases. Go to combat. What do you have over there, Brent? One one servos. Oh, well, they can't kill three threes. They cannot. Uh, these are both going to come at you. And then I'm going to make a copy of Birgi. So that's going to be three three threes coming your way. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. I will pay for Smothering Ties. Good job, team. We're doing it. Uh, I will play a Talisman of Resilience, cast my commander. The Master Transcendent. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, target Brent gets two rad counters. I can tap him to put target creature card in a graveyard that was milled this turn. Onto the battlefield under my control, it's a green mutant with base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I'm done. Draw. So then you will mill two cards. For each non-land card, you lose a life and lose a rad counter. Uh, land for turn will be Misty Rainforest. Uh, it's just quite a thumb. Down tick Sahili, turning the servo into an intelligence bobblehead for turn. Four or five, we'll tap the token. Drawing three, four, grand dynamo. I cast, I make a servo. Sure. On ETB, I will pay to have one colorless floating. Create another. Thran Dynamo. Five to activate this bobblehead. Draw three more. Go to end step. Servo reverts. Upkeep. Draw. Sure, man. I'm gonna pay the two. Play a land for turn, being this forest. Satessin Champion. Constellation. When an enchantment ETB is under my control, put a plus one counter on Satessin Champion and draw a card. Two. Paying the two. Cast a Sith of Service Hand. It's an enchantment. Putting a plus one counter on the Satess Champion, drawing a card. Then go to combat. We will settle in a forest. Champion gets a counter. I draw a card. I get a card. Yep, because I don't have the mana to pay for it. I will smack Sahili for four. Untap all of my enchanted permanents. Okay. Main two. Four. Calyx, Destiny's Hand. Can plus one to look at the top four in my library. I can reveal an enchantment from among them and put it to my hand. Rest in the bottom in a random order. Can neg three to O-ring something under one of my enchantments. Or I can neg seven to return all enchantments from my graveyard to the battlefield. Neg three, Calyx. We will O-ring mirror works under the web. With that, I will pass. Play an island for turn. Uh, you're going to pay the two. Oh, before I play that island, I'm going to yep. pay two mana. Six mana for Sun Quan, Lord of Wu. All my creatures got horse shit. I used to be a bomb back in the day. <laughs> when I play him, I'll get two red mana from the Beerus and one more treasure from Gloin. Then we'll go to combat. Gloin's going to kill Calyx. Everyone else is coming at Brent's face. I'm making a copy of... Sue a copy of Gloin. So that is a uh, 15 coming your way. Post combat, I'll just lose this red mana that's floating. Go ahead, Corbin. I will not be able to pay for Smothering Tithe. You'll get exactly one treasure. I'm going to play Gemstone Array. It is an artifact that has two put a charge counter on this bro. Uh, remove a charge counter from this bro. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. I'll pass. And set ball spin top. Draw, red counter will be this Shorakai. Land for turn will be this basic mountain. Play this 4-4 four, four blocker. Uzgar, the reconstructor. 15-16. Okay, sure. Heliod's intervention for X equals 15. <laughs> uh, I will gain X life. Oh. <laughs> I will gain 30 life. I'll pass the turn. I'll pay the two. Okay. Six. 
gonna cast a Hellkite Charger. Oh, that'd be infinite combat steps. Oh, is it? It is a 5 5 flyer with haste. When Hellkite Charger attacks, I can pay 7 mana. If I do, untap all attacking creatures I control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. So I'm gonna go into okay. combat. I'm going to turn my stomping ground into a settlement. I'm gonna pay 1 mana, rapid hybridization, your Hellkite Charger. Unfortunate. So settlement goes, Satesp Champion gets buffed, I draw a card, I cannot pay for it. Swing it, pressed in at you, Jason. Trigger goes in the stack, I'll float one with the Kessing Wolf run, and then untap a bunch of lands. I can give him plus six, so it goes to ten. I'll throw Sun Quan in the way, and good luck. So he'll be a ten for he does, because yours is a four for it. Right? Yeah. That's all I got. I'm gonna pay for a smothering tithe. Play a mountain for turn. How about that? You have three one ones and a four four. I mean, I can take care of the four four. Yeah, go for it. I'll wait till you pay the tax, bro. <laughs> He's like, I want to make sure you're committed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, in case you don't take care of the four four, I'm gonna pay three mana for Veronica Dissonant Scribe. She's a three three, of course, with minute. <laughs> And whenever she attacks, I may discard a card. If I do draw a card, whenever I discard one or more non-land cards, I create a junk token. For your geese, I'll get red mana. For Gloins, I will get two treasures. Combat. Okay, I'm putting my commander's life on the line. On your word, Carter. <laughs> my commander. Everyone life. is coming at Brent. I will make a copy of Gloin. For four blocks. I will snap your 4-4 four, four back to your hand. I'll untap these two lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 3 is 18. My floating mana will go away. I will pass. In your turn. I'm going to put a charge counter on this gemstone array. Drawsies. I will not pay. Missy Rainforest. Ouch. Forced. 8. I will cast Plain Wide Celebration. Yeah. Uh, modes proliferate 4 times. Hey, we all have 6 poison. I will cast Azuri, Stalker of Spears. Spears? Yeah, Spears. Spears. When he enters the battlefield, I may pay three. If I do, proliferate twice. Whenever you proliferate, draw a card. I'm going to do that. Hey, we're all at eight poison. <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Radstorm. <laughs> I'll spin top. Okay. Y'all dead? Yeah. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> Corbin comes out of absolutely nowhere and proliferates the entire table to death. Great job, Corbin. Hope you all enjoyed that. See you next time.